Hello everyone, welcome back to my page. I'm Avantika Kamli and today I'm going to show you how to make a card reverse alert system. So by the name of it only, you might know that okay, this is a reverse alerting system that if this is the object and this is your car and then it comes a little closer then there's no space so the buzzer will ring. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to show you how to make that at your house. I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. everyone so before we start with any of the connections this is a really important part of the project so make sure you do it before we start with it please remember that the positives of your LEDs and the buzzer should be on the left hand side of you and the negatives which is the short side should be on the right hand side of you and for the ultrasonic sensor you can keep it on the breadboard for this project okay if you're done with this we can start with the connections now let's go all right everyone so we can start with our first connection so let's uh, finish the negative connections first all right so let's do that so first we'll finish with the buzzers negative so i'm just going to grab one of these wires these small wires i'm going to grab one of them the positive was on the right right yeah it's on the right okay so we have it there make sure it's in the correct column there you go that's our first connection done now for the leds we want to take our resistors because we're directly connecting it so negative on the right we're going to connect it in the correct column then it's going to go to the brown all right there we go done and then last ultrasonic sensor connections let's see where's the ground uh, it's on over here okay it's on this pin okay, this one right yeah this one okay. all right there we go okay now we're done with the ground connections of everything basically <laughs> all right now we're going to connect the vcsa of the ultrasonic sensor so for that, let's just go color coding wise. Let's take a red wire. Pretty sure this is the VCC. And we're gonna connect it right here. All right, there we go. All right. So for our first connection on the Arduino, let's start with the buzzer itself. Okay. So for the buzzer, let's take a wire from, uh, no, not here. Okay, let's take it from here. <laughs> so the buzzer is black. Let's take a black wire. All right, and now we're gonna connect it to the positive. There we go. And then gonna connect that to pin number two. All right, let's do two. All right, there we go. We're done with our first connection on the Arduino board. Clap for yourselves, everybody. All right. Now, let's go for the green LED. We're going color coding wise. Have a green wire here. Okay. Let's connect it to the positive. And there we go. And then let's do pin number three. And then the yellow LED is positive will go to four. And red LEDs will go to five. Let's do that. All right, so we have it over here. We're done with the LEDs now for the ultrasonic sensor. Now, we only have two pins left, trig and echo, All right? So let's connect the um, trig pin first. <laughs> okay, so all right, we're connecting trig first. So where is trig? 
okay it's right next to vcc so it should be over here yes and that goes to pin number six okay. all right and then last but not least the echo so the echo is right next to the trig and that goes to pin number seven okay oh my god we are done with all the connections now we just need to connect the positive and negative let's do that so i have my wires over here we have the black wire and the red wire let's connect it so now the negative of breadboard so just connect it there that will go to the g and d of arduino board it's right there you can see it yeah there we're gonna connect it right there Woo! and now we're gonna connect the positives we're gonna connect to the positive row okay that would go to the five volts that's a 5v pin both of them i hear look at that five five v and g and d whoa we are done all right so now as you can see we are done with the coding and now we just have to connect the battery so what you want to do for the battery connections is we just want to take the battery that way because the we don't want the ultrasonic sensor to get interfered okay now for the pause negative of battery we want to connect it to the ground of breadboard just like that and then for the positive we're gonna take the last wire that we have i'm sorry this is not red i ran out of red wires all right and we're just gonna put it right here in the end the column look at that and then you're gonna connect the wire there and then that would go to the v and pin which is right there look next to g and d okay so let's do that in five Four, three, two, one, go! Oh my God! Wow, the range is so much. Look at that. And then when it's a little further, then the yellow LED is on. Like I just want to show you what's the range. Look at that. My hand is there, and that's how much it has the range. And then when I go. Further, which is whoa, that much, then it's saying green. Wow, this works really nicely. Okay, I just want to like show you the you know sensor's noise, so let's just show it to you. This is going to be very irritating. yeah it's irritating it's very irritating okay there we go no more sensor signals all right if you guys like this video and this project make sure to hit that like button oh my god okay i'll just not connect the battery because that's making too much noise. okay if you guys like this video and definitely this project make sure to Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that whenever I post a new video, you will never miss it. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching again. Bye!